recipe for you today, only involving about five ingredients. We're just gonna make some stuffed peppers. They're really like stuffed pepper boats, stuffed pepper bowls, but it's stuffed peppers Tuscan style. And so if you wanna learn a little bit of Italian, we call that pepperoni ripieni. Say it with me, pepperoni ripieni. All right, we're gonna make it, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is you want to cut and de-seed your, um, your peppers. Make them all about an equal size, but try and make them into the, these little bowls because we're gonna put the filling right in this part before we cook them, just like that. So I've cut my peppers into these nice little bowls. I'm gonna set them to the side on a cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil. I'm gonna turn my oven on to 350 while I prepare my filling. We're gonna chop up about a half a cup of parsley. We are gonna use two cloves of garlic, about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and olive oil. That's it. Add in your breadcrumbs. Add in your parsley that you just chopped. Give it a, a mix together. A pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper two cloves of garlic. Now we are going to add in some olive oil. You can also add a dash of lemon juice to give it a kick. That's what my mother-in-law does. Take a spoonful and just scoop it right into your peppers. Drizzle a little olive oil on top. Set your timer for 20 minutes. I just garnish the plate with some fresh parsley and they're ready to serve. Can serve it as a finger food. I love peppers. Really good. This might be a great recipe for St. Patrick's Day. Only do green peppers, lots of parsley. You'd have a fantastic green themed pepper plate. You can adapt this recipe to your own preferences. Add more breadcrumbs. You add more parsley. Add more olive oil. It's foolproof. You cannot mess it up. So there you have it. An easy way to change up your pepper recipe. Can she do three? No, <laughs> she can't. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.